Hey everyone, it's SJ, and today I'm opening up not one, but two Commander Masters Collector Booster Boxes. These are, in my opinion, the best option to buy Commander Masters product, despite the $209 price tag and only four packs per box. And my goodness, are these tiny boxes. But they do come with the best opportunity to get good cards. Commander Masters is a non-premium product at a premium price, but it does have a bunch of good reprints. The cards we really want to pull are the Jeweled Lotus in any variation, so regular, borderless, foil etched, or textured foil. Any textured foil would be a big hit. I'm not sure what the new pull rates are, but last year it was roughly one in every eight boxes. Other big hits in this set are Doubling Season, The Great Henge, and Fierce Guardianship. This set also introduces a new style of art, the Profile card, which all in all looks pretty good, but I do need to go on a quick aside here. I love Eldrazi, and I was so excited to see Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger finally get a reprint, but someone at Wizards must hate him, because the last reprint was this secret layer version. Look how they mess with my boy. Kozilek and Emrakul both received cool borderless versions, and Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger is missing out on the cool art. This new borderless version is completely fine art, but does this show Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, Destroyer of Realms, or more of an Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, maybe I'll have green beans for dinner? Don't worry, Ulamog, your day will come where you have some cool art. At least it's not as bad as Morrowind, though. Looking real good. Come here, buddy, you gotta sit down. Anyway, I'd love to open up some Eldrazi as well, and some commander staples like Demonic Tutor, Cyclonic Rift, and Smothering Tithe. Alright, that's enough of an overview, let's start opening. This was the first big magic hit we've had in such a long time, and I have to say I was skeptical about the profile art, but the foil ones look absolutely amazing.
And here we have another huge hit, the Jeweled Lotus. What's this? A profit on a magic box? And by a healthy margin? I'm going to try this new thing where I post some of the box stats on the side of the screen, so let me know if you like that in the comments below. Ultimately, both of these boxes would have been profitable, yielding some great hits with Borderless Jeweled Lotus, the Ur Dragon, Sliver Grave Mother, and Micaeus the Unhallowed, which were just great pools. The prices will fall as more of this is open, but so far, this is a great product. I think Wizards did a nice job on the Collector Booster experience as well, removing some of the initial commons and uncommons for more room for better cards in the hit slot. I know these are pricey at essentially $50 a pack, and you can certainly get some duds, but I would definitely recommend this over a set booster. It's a shame Wizards of the Coast keeps overshadowing their great set design and releases with exorbitantly high prices, because I think this was actually a decent set with some good reprints. Anyways, thank you again for liking and subscribing, as I always appreciate the support. As always, thank you for watching.